Hello everybody, I am back, and today I will be playing a deck that, well, I was watching the National stream, US National, so I figured I liked the deck, so I figured I'd play it. It's somewhat similar to a deck that made top four at last year's Nationals, because I know this kind of reminds me of, <laughs> for as silly as this sounds, The oh, help me here. The Waylord situation, where this is a, this is a deck that will only really pop up at nationals, it seems, <laughs> just in general, and that is Mega Manectric with Garbodor. The idea is to use as I pass the turn. Mega Manectric's Turbo Bolt Attack, Mega Manectric EX, sorry. Which, for one lightning and one colorless energy, one minute, I have to actually plug my laptop in so it doesn't die, does 110 damage, which, honestly, if it didn't have such an amazing effect, would be pretty poor. But since it does, you have such an awesome effect, it's probably the best Mega ever printed. Or... Or somewhere around there with like Primal Groudon and Mega Rayquaza. But yeah, I'd, I'd label it personally as the best. It's one of my favorite cards to use because of how versatile it is. You attach two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Now, that can be any type. Any type of basic energy. You just need to have a few lightnings in there for Mega Manectric. So the idea is just to accelerate it onto whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to be taking a Jolteon EX as the backup attacker, which for one lightning and two colorless has flash ray, does 70 damage, and prevents all damage done to Jolteon EX by basics. Which, it's a lot like the ancient Pyrork. I, it, not ancient trait, just like ancient is in really, really old. Because it is now. Flash Fire came out in like 2014. So yeah, it's like two years old at this point. That's crazy to me. But that's beside the point. Except it's an attack, not an ability, so it's it can't be turned off by stuff like the Garbodor that will most likely come into play. Speaking of, this deck also runs Garbodor just to accelerate and turn off abilities. Except since my opponent is also playing Garbodor, I don't really need to even devote energy into getting Garbodor into play. I would like, what I would like to get into play, or the discard pile, are some energy cards, but it looks like that's not happening. So I'll just launch a Turbo Bolt and not accelerate any energy because I guess that's not allowed. And just go for it. As, and as I'm talking, I realize I think I forgot to put Shamans in the deck. Oh well. It can sort of help, but the deck doesn't really need shamans, I believe. I was testing this for Expand Originals, and I don't think I even had a shaman in it, but that was expanded, so a Jirachi. Yeah, a Garbodor version doesn't need shaman if you can get Garbodor up consistently. It's just a nice bonus. In this situation, it's not like I had a card to search out said shaman anyways before Garbodor came into play, so it was relatively pointless. My opponent is playing that new Darkrai Garbodor... Probably some dragons in there. That deck that's been popping up, it did really well at, I want to say, Origins is what it's called. And they're going to Escape Rope. I will send up Jolteon because it has that for your trait cost. My opponent will probably switch into Evil Tall. And then start using Evil Tall's Oblivion Wing for 50 damage. And... It just, oh, into Garbodor because it has the Float Stone. Then they're going to end, and then they're probably going to Max Elixir. And try and knock out this Jolteon while they have the opportunity. Or at least that's my best guess. Okay, they drop a Dark onto Dark Cry. They have stuff like Max, and they can retreat and hit for 80. Because Dark, the idea is Dark Cry X is Dark Pulse. 
does 20 damage plus 20 more for each dark atta energy attached to all your Pokemon. So do 40, 60, yep, 90. So now this isn't looking that great. It is a weakened Dark Ride out. Turbo Bolt does just enough to knock out a 180 HP Pokemon with a Fighting Fury Belt attached, so 220 HP, in two hits. So now let's compress it away. I don't really need the Psychic, so just three Lightning, going full Lightning here. Then let's Ultra Ball, discard two Floatstone for another Mega. Now we retreat into this Mega and Turbo Bolt for the knockout and attach two Lightning Energy to our Jolteon EX on the bench. And yeah, the Mega on Trick, it's... most decks involving it are fairly straightforward. You Turbo Bolt and then you use whatever you Turbo Bolt into. In this case, I doubt my opponent will actually power up for an offensive bomb, which does 4 for 60 and you Confuse and Poison. Oh, they're actually going to send out their own Jolteon. I do play two for stuff like this. Just in case. Yeah, now they've done 140, so... I'll drop a Psychic onto this and trick. I do play Psychic, so I could attack with Garbodor and use Offensive Bomb if I need to. And let's Flash Ray, Drop Rise, and Prevent. Because it's not an ability like Pyro's Intimidating Main, it can't be turned off. Well, yet. There's a Pokemon Ranger card in the Steam Siege set that will turn it off for one turn. Which means Jolteon will have probably had its day in the sun by then. But oh well. My opponent is now in a pretty tough spot just because... They can't hit through Jolteon and in theory I could just Flash Ray. But I also kind of want to power up the other Jolteon that's in my deck, just in case this one goes down. It does only have 20 HP left, and... Okay, they're gonna send up Darkrai. Do they have, like, a Lysander? Nope. They're just going to have to pass, which is helpful for me. Let's... Battle Compressor, discard three more Lightning. Actually, let's keep one in the deck. Two Lightning and a Psychic. Ultra Ball, discard Psychic and a Floatstone for... The second Jolteon, I do only have three bench spaces, but that's fine. There's a secret, and if I could find a rough seize, that would be great. But I can't, so I'll just flash ray. And continue stopping everything. Now, even though this is a Garbodor deck and abilities are turning off from ideally the second turn, I do have Wobbuffet in this deck, just so I can start it and get that ability lock. Because nothing besides the Hoopa EX and I guess the Shaman EX what do you do? Oh, they end me into rough seas, that's great. Now, as I am invincible to all forms of damage from these dark rides, I can actually just drop a rough seas and start mass healing. Or just heal the Jolteon 30 at a time while also using Flash Ray. And yeah, this is just how strong Jolteon EX is. Because it blocks out entire decks sometimes. Alright, they got the float on the dark eye. I'm not entirely sure what they can do. This doesn't appear to be the Dark Dragons build, just Dark Garbodor. If it was like if it was Dark Eye with Dragons, they could actually Oh, they actually two of dragons, I, my bad. Or at least Latios. But if they went for like the full dragons with Giratina and the like, they could actually in theory just drop a... What's it called? Hydragon EX. <laughs> and Shred. Which is... But yeah. I'm just going to use another Flash Ray. Knock that out. And now my opponent's in a terrible position. They can't touch Jolteon EX, and I'm healing it off, so if they do, like, a Skate Rope Lysander, then it's getting less and less likely that they'll actually knock out Jolteon. Versus Seeker, Lysander, what are they going to bring out? Everything on my board has free retreat. Yeah, 
they're gonna bring up the Mega with the actual energy on it. And they surrendered. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all next time, which will be tomorrow with another Pokemon trading card game video. Bye!